Hello, welcome to my video. My name is Samuel Vidal and today, um, first of all, I don't know if you have seen my previous video where I made this superhero character in using Character Creator 3 and then exporting her in Blender. Um, this is a superhero I did a long time ago for a comic book project that I was doing. But now, today, what I want to do is do a new version of her. Her name is um, Purple Starlight. And I did this newer version a long time ago, but I just want to do it today for the video. So, first thing we're going to do is load up the... Character Creator 3. Oh, so I have too many images open. <clears throat> now that is loaded up. Um, first of all, we're going to notice, again, by default, the model. It pops up here. Um, if you notice in this photo, I think I did use that similar mm, model body here. I did turn it a little bit here, but on the, um, today we're going to do something different. You see, I want to, I want to use, because it's, she's a superhero character, I want to use something else. And I'm going to go here to the base, full body morph, and repack for CC3+. plus. And then I'm going to change her body to this one, strong female. Okay. Because that's what I think that um, would be the appropriate um, body for a superhero character. The only thing is that I will be toning down her body a little because she looks way too built and I just don't like it but first I will be I'm gonna I wanna face her her head and for that again content base and here head morph Repack for CC3 plus, and then I will be using this one, the CC3 base female model. <coughs> okay. And you notice there's already some error here when I change her head, and it's uh, part of her skin is coming out this is a skin that the girl probably um is behind here on her eye socket it's coming out for some reason and there's a way to fix that usually most of the time when i'm doing characters on on character creator 3 I end, I end up um, exporting them in Blender, and then that's something that I will fix on, in Blender, but in, in this case, I'm not going to be using Blender, Blender at all, so I guess I'll, I'll do it here. So, let me select her body. I'm going to go to the right, Modify Panel, Attributes, and on the Modify Option, Edit Mesh. And then I'm just going to rotate this. And if you notice this bird is here, you can select this entire group and pull it out, but then that's gonna look like a like a bump in her eye, and I'm not gonna do that instead. Because I, I done this one before. I know this bird is here is the one that's gonna take this skin inside 
So I will select the move world tool and just gonna start moving that the vertice all the way inside. Okay. Then I will rotate and make sure that nothing looks weird. And now we just have to check the other side still, see? But to fix that now, the other side, all you have to do is, again, come here and the modify attributes and under, here where it says mirror copy, there's two options. There's the right to left or left to right. In this case, this will be her left. So it's left to right, whatever you did here to the right so this one is the option and see it's now fixed and then edit mesh okay now I wanna change her eyes and content base and then the eyes and we're gonna see the essential morphs and then I want to use the vampire eye okay they now look kind of like a red eye but later on in, in the second part we'll be editing the eyes her colors okay for now we're just only choosing the the props that I'm gonna use for her. Okay, now, <clears throat> want some hair, got a hair, um, hair group, hair, I you see. And of course, I always like to use the swamp. This is one of my fav favorite ones. The other ones are, are good too, but I usually prefer this ones. They 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 have already released all their styles of hair. They got more. I just I haven't purchased them yet. But maybe I I will include a link on the video where you can see where to buy all this um, hair and anything else, clothing or anything else. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be using this one though. Leiko, I don't, I don't know how, how to pronounce that. But that one is the one that I, I'm going to be using. Let's see. And once I got that done, then I think the last thing I need to do is adjust her body to tone it down a little bit so right click base plus and then modify and under morph let me just expand this tap here um, I'm gonna go here. I'm sorry. Actor body. I'm gonna go on a full body. And let me just simply move that there. I'm gonna look for the first option I'm gonna be looking for is this one body tone. See, so this kind of tone it down. Well, I don't want that much. Twenty. No, I think a little bit. A little bit there, okay? So let's see how that looks. That looks awesome. Okay. And now, I'm going to use the thin. Just to thin a little bit, just a little bit. Oh yeah, I love it. 
See, just a little dab, build up like She Hulk. Not that there's nothing wrong with her. I just um, she's not really that um, built. Hey, right, if I'm going to compare this photo here. So, let me see. Oh, and then the shoulders. I want to why his shoulders a little bit. And I'm going to go to this option shoulder. And here where it says shoulder with A. Here. That will expand. A little bit more of the shoulders. See. Okay. I think that looks good. So, so far, this is it for this part one. Okay, on part two, I will be editing the hair, I mean the color of the hair, um, the eyes, putting some makeup, um, the lips, eyebrows, eyelashes, and the color of the skin, of her skin. And... The reason I want to do that second part is because it might take a while to go through the settings in order for me to, you know, edit that. So I don't want to do long videos, you know. I just want to do them by part, you know, and then it'll be shorter. So I guess this is it for this first part. So thank you for watching. And if you like this video, make sure you... Hit the like button and subscribe and see you on the second part.